This weekend also marks a happier anniversary, the 35th anniversary of the opening of the 1984 World's Fair. Yeah, the World's Fair was not a financial success, but it did do a lot to spur development along the riverfront and the warehouse district, and lots of people, including me, have great memories of enjoying all the fair had to offer during its six-month run here. Here's our old friend Bill Campo, who reported on the opening day of the fair 35 years ago this Sunday. They came by bus, train, and car from California, Colorado, and Connecticut. Thousands of people who plunked down the $15 admission to be among the first to see the Louisiana World Exposition. The tickets to get in were $44, and the parking is another five or so, so I'm up to $50, and I'm not in the gate yet. <laughs> but once they passed the turnstiles, they found themselves in a man-made wonderland. Whether they lived in New Orleans or elsewhere, most fair visitors were quickly caught up by the Mardi Gras spirit of the exposition. It's wonderful. Pretty good so far. We've been looking forward to it since November. It's marvelous. It's the best thing that ever happened in New Orleans, I think. Only one man said that after a first look, he wanted to sell his season passport. Uh, I find uh, it dirty and gaudy. In an isolated incident, pickpockets found some victims outside the front gate. A man was standing in front of me and he mentioned to me that someone, he felt a hand in his pocket, back pocket. And I looked at my back pocket, my wallet was gone. But police say the pickpockets had their chance only because a first day crowd gathered long before the gates opened. For most people, the day was full of wonderful sights, interesting things to do, and many chances to sample New Orleans famous cuisine. The biggest impression on me was a sausage sandwich with the mustard. Delicious. <laughs> Lines quickly formed outside the more popular attractions. Not very good news for those waiting in them, but excellent news for fair officials who say 12 million people need to visit this fair between now and November to make this $350 million exhibition break even. I'm Bill Capo, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Look at Bill. We, we were all so young then. Well, you weren't young. You weren't even thought of. Born, yeah. <laughs> all right, unfortunately, the attendance did fall short of the projections, making the fair a financial flop which uh, it did file for bankruptcy, but it's fondly remembered by a lot of us and led to the revitalization of the Riverfront, the Warehouse District, and the Morial Convention Center. Uh, it was just wonderful. And um, one thing I loved, I lo a lot of people hated it, was the gondola ride over the river. Yeah. And it was, it was frightening. It stopped sometimes, but it was really cool. Oh, okay. And then they had, they had all kinds of uh, uh, water shows and uh, open theater. And oh, it sounds cool. Rides, a monorail. It was just really neat. Hmm, I and like the mascot memories. was Seymour DeFair, huh. a pelican. Okay, well, look at that.